Here we're going to add some rooms and some room tags and then create a little room schedule. So we're on, let's start with our main floor and let's create what is called a room on our architectural tab. Um, we'll say tag on placement. Place, we can go in here now, you can see as long as it's a closed polygon, that's a corridor in there, okay? Room, 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 room. So the walls divide. If you want to create a room separator, then you have to create a room separator. If there's no wall there, you can still create an invisible separator. But what if I say place rooms automatically? 13 rooms created automatically, hit close, and we're done. Okay, go up to my second floor. Rooms, again, I can do them one at a time. I can highlight the boundaries. It's going to kind of tell me. Oh, doesn't like that roof. Um, but I am going to... Sorry, back to room, place rooms automatically, 14 rooms created automatically, close. Now I need to go around and rename all these rooms. So we're going to go in here and, you know, we'll just call this. I'm just going to give them numbers. You can give them names as you please. So room number one, room number two, okay, um, room number three. I'm going to go through this and then come back and uh after all the rooms have been in fact the room number is there i don't want to call it room by number i'm just going to go in here and rename these office and we'll come back with all the rooms um, renamed on this floor and on the second floor as well so hold uh, tight and i'll go through and rename all those rooms for us All right, I've gone through the second floor and the main floor and renamed all the views. I've just given them random names, office, storage, bathroom. We're going to have to create these um, bathrooms um, a little bit later. But, you know, I've just gone through meeting rooms, offices, fitness room, lounge, etc. You can name your rooms whatever you want. So we're going to create some bathrooms here and on the second floor. So... Um, I've gone through and I think I forgot, no, I got the corridor there. Yeah, now let's say I want this to be a separate room because it's not, I don't want it to be part of the corridor. I can go to architecture and I can create a room separator. Room separator I can put across here, escape, escape. Now this room, that is this corridor you can see is going to stop there. Now I can create a new room inside of here, right? Boom. Escape and then call this, you know, vestibule. Look out, room number 28. And stairway also needs to have separate room. Let's create a room for it. Let's click on there so you're Create similar. Oops, hit escape. I don't want it by wall center line. Core face exterior or interior will work. No, I want finish face. Interior or exterior as my location line. Okay. And I should be paying attention from top of main up to top of second minus 250. So work my way around here okay and i guess it i will put a door in there <laughs> let's do a shift mouse and wheel this over and let's do shift nudge align that over tr for trim trim these guys up click on this door Create similar. Put a door in there. Escape, escape. Grab this door tag. Create similar. Add a door tag in there. Okay. Create uh, a new room. Architecture, room. Room in here and a new room over here. Now, I think I was going to make one of these a mechanical room, wasn't I? Okay, and the 
this can be just storage maybe. Okay, so all my rooms are there. And my room tags for my second floor and my main floor. So let's create a little room schedule. Um, view, schedule, schedule quantities. Click in here, type in R, rooms, double click, creates a room schedule. What do I want to know? I want to know the area of the room. I want to know the level of the room. I want to know the room number and I want to know the room name. And I want the mark. Uh, no, room number is good. I'm going to move that up. So room number, then the name, then the area, then the level. Looks good. It's going to create a room schedule for me. Now, in that room schedule, I'm going to go into sorting and say sort by room number, ascending. And I'm also going to go in here and do the same thing with the filter. Filter by level equals top of main. So based on levels. Duplicate that schedule, room schedule, rename it, room schedule, uh, main floor. Right click, duplicate that view, duplicate, room schedule, second floor, rename. Hit OK, and in this schedule, I'm going to say filter by second floor. Let's go down to our sheets, main floor. OK, room schedule, main floor. Bring it in wherever I want to place that. Bring these out. Okay, uh, second floor, and grab my room schedule, second floor, bring it in. Doesn't look like I need to stretch it, room number, room name, area. Okay, now if I want to total up my areas, what I can do is go into my room schedule, go to fields, and I can go to uh, sorting and gathering, and I'm going to say grand totals and uh, appearance or fields. No, where is it? Format um, area calculate good show hidden. And under area here, under formatting, we need to say calculate totals and hit OK. Uh, no, that didn't quite do it. Let's go back in here again. And what I need to do, I need to say calculate grand totals, but I also need to go into area and say calculate totals. So both of these, I believe, have to be on. Calculate grand totals. And I can just say totals only. Okay. So this has to be turned on under sorting and under formatting. I need to go to area and say calculate totals. Now we're going to get this number. Um, room schedule, main floor, we need to do the same thing. Go into here, either one of these, go to sorting and grouping and change this to say grand totals and change the formatting of area to say calculate totals. Both of those have to be on and that'll show up there. Now when you go to your main floor, you're going to see that number show up there. And maybe we'll line these up by the bottom instead. Try to get some conformity going. Okay, so there's our rooms room tags, room names, and room uh, schedules.